Hello everyone and welcome to your Wednesday morning Yates group fitness class. My name is Sophia and I will be taking you through a circuit style strength and cardio workout using just your body so no equipment necessary. Just like with all the other videos that have been posted, there won't be any music playing in the background of this video due to copyright issues. So to make your workout much more fun than mine, I suggest playing your favorite playlist in the background to add to the sound of this video. Just how I start all my classes, I'll say that I'm here to push you, that's my job, but you know your body best, especially in this time of quarantine. So do what feels right to you, whether that means modifying an exercise or hitting pause on the video to take the amount of rest that feels good to you so you can jump back into the video nice and strong. If, you've, if you're hearing me say this intro, you've already clicked play on the video, so let's commit to taking care of our health and de-stressing together this morning in 45 minutes. We're gonna get started with a five minute warm up now, so let's get ready. We're gonna start with a jog in place. Nice and easy. I know most people, including myself, definitely have not stayed as active as we used to be. So be kind to yourself and increase the intensity as it feels right. Very good. Perfect, in five seconds, we're gonna lean forward and turn those into butt kickers. You can turn on your mat if you need to. Two, one, and butt kickers. Next, we're going to do a high knee and kick without the jump in five, three, one, and here we go. High knee, kick, high knee, kick, high knee, and kick. Good. Now that you're familiar with the movement, when you bring your knee up, try to crunch and engage those abs. Crunch and kick. Engage and kick. Perfect. more seconds of these. Last one. And good. We're going to warm up our upper body with some arm circles going forward. We're going to be using a lot of upper body today in our workout. So getting it nice and warm. And switch direction. Good. Our workout today is 11 moves, which we're going to go through one after the other, 45 seconds on, 15 seconds rest. And we're going to repeat that three times. The first circuit is going to get you familiar with the exercises. And then the second two are going to be where you increase that intensity. 
perfect. Next, we're gonna do some shoulder presses. So up and down, perfect. Up and down, really tensing your shoulder blades together at the bottom and squeezing your shoulder caps at the top. Perfect. For those of you who don't usually do body weight only exercises, this is a good opportunity to challenge yourself and discover how difficult it is to do a workout you aren't usually used to doing. Okay, perfect. We have 30 seconds of our warm up left. We're gonna turn and do some squat into lunges. So you're gonna squat in the middle of your mat, lunge back, squat, and lunge back. Perfect. With each squat, you should feel as if you're sitting back into a chair, driving those hips nice and low. Perfect, we are ready to start our workout. Our first move is an inchworm to push up. So we're gonna come down, do a push up, and up. We start in one, and start. You also have the option to go down onto your knees, hop back onto your toes, and complete the inchworm. Try to be creative with today's moves, since I know some home workouts can get repetitive. So I hope you learned some moves that you weren't already familiar with today. We have five more seconds, let's get one more inchworm in. And done. Our next exercise are duck walks with a jump squat. Start at the bottom of your mat. You're gonna duck walk to the top. Give me a jump squat. Duck walk back. And let's start. All together, bottom of our mats, squat, and duck walk. Jump back, staying low the whole time, really feeling that burn in your quads. If you want to make this workout no impact, you can just do a regular squat at the end, taking out the jump. We have six more seconds here. Let's walk across our mats one more time. And jump, perfect. Next we have mountain climbers with shoulder taps. So you're gonna give me four mountain climbers, two shoulder taps. They look like this. One, two, three, four. Tap, tap. All together now, 45 seconds, let's go. One, two, three, four. Tap, tap. Try and keep your hips still. No swaying from side to side. Keep that core nice and engaged. We have 15 more seconds. I know these are hard, but we can do it. Five more seconds. Let's complete one more round of the combo and done. Next we have some shoot throughs. These take some getting used to. I suggest keeping your feet off the mat. And we're just gonna start these together and learn the move during the 45 seconds. So start in this kind of bend to bear position. Twist, shoot one arm in your opposite leg out the side. Tap your bum cheek on the floor. Rotate back to center. Shoot through the other way. Tap, back to center. Start with doing these nice and controlled, and you can increase the tempo 
once you're steady. Ten more seconds. Let's do two more of these if you can. And done. Extend your mat back out if you have one. Next is a lunge with a kick. They're going to look like this. Lunge, kick, switch side. All together, 45 seconds. Lunge and kick. Lunge and kick. By now your heart rate should be up. Mine certainly is. In our whole workout, the sharper you can make a move, the more energy you're going to expend. So try and keep every move nice, fast, and crisp. And done. Next, we're going to do some bicycle crunches. You all know what they look like. So let's come down onto our mat. And in three seconds, we're going to start. Let's go. Press your lower back into the floor and bicycle. About 20 seconds of these. I know the burn of abs is tough to go through. But I want you to think, when you can't do any more reps, I want you to give me three more. And when you're done with those three, just two more. And when you're done with one, four to five seconds are over. Let's come back up. Our next ones are tripsic extension to table with knee taps. The name is long and complicated, but it's just a simple combo move. We're gonna learn it together here. 45 seconds have started, but your forearms on the floor. The tricep part comes in. When you lift your upper body, you're gonna come into a table, squeeze your glutes at the top, drop your hips, tap knee, tap knee, back to the starting position. Triceps up, table, squeeze the glutes, tap, and tap. This uses your core during those taps, squeeze. So it really is a full body move. 10 more seconds. We can do this. Use those triceps. Use the glutes. Squeeze that core. And done. Next we have pretend ball slams. So I want you to do these as if you're actually slamming a heavy object. I want you to very passionately reach up, go onto your toes, and slam all together, 45 seconds, let's go. Reach and slam. I wanna take all that pent up energy, all those stressors of the past couple weeks and throw them down. I don't wanna see anything like this. This uses half the energy. Reach and slam with intention 15 more seconds left. Pick another subject if you run out of anger. Three, two, and done. Whew. Our next move are airplanes. So they're going to look like this. Let's start all together now. To get your balance, you can start with just the legs. Lean forward, drive that knee up at the top. Forward, drive that knee up. When you're ready, add the arms. Squeeze those shoulder blades at the top and bring them down as you lean up. 
switch legs. Here we go. If you're having trouble balancing, you can do the same move by planting your other leg slightly behind the front leg. If you've brought it down, lift all the way and we're done. Our next move is going to be clams with a raise. You're going to come down onto your mat and we're going to do a combo of an oblique lift and a clam. Let's go. 45 seconds. Combo. This works the side glute on both legs. So you're going to feel that burn equally on both sides. We're going to switch sides. Swing on over quickly. Get into position. And let's go. Good job. This one is an extra burn and done. Okay, next is our final move out of the 11 move cycle and it is an ab burner. So when the bell rings, we're going to do it all together. Let's go. Get into a high plank position. Bring one knee in to your opposite wrist. Extend it back behind you and bring it out to the outside of your other wrist. Put that foot down, same thing on the other side. Into opposite wrist, extend, and out. Try and keep your core stable and still, even if your leg is moving. This one's a killer, but we only have 15 seconds. Use your breath. Two more seconds, and done. We have a one minute rest. If you've noticed that I'm all of a sudden very tomato faced, it's because my camera stopped filming very early on and I continued forward. So you only have to do two more rounds of the 11 that we just did. I've already completed the workout, so I'm here with you to do it again. You better stick with me. <laughs> we can do this. Grab some water. 30 more seconds of rest. Take deep breaths to calm our heartbeat as much as we can and start the next round nice and strong. 15 more seconds. Now that you're familiar with the moves, it's going to get more intense. But we're in this together. Tomato Sophia and whoever is watching, in 15 seconds, we're gonna do those inchworms to push up, either a full push up or a push up on your knees. In five, three, one, let's go. Inchworm to the top of your mat, do a push up, and then inchworm back. Even if you can't maintain a full push-up all the way through the move, do as many as you can, even if it's just two or three like I can do. Twenty more seconds. If you do decide to drop onto your knees, pop back onto your toes to complete the inchworm. Five more seconds, give me one more inchworm. And we're done. Next are those duck walks with a jump squat. In 10 seconds, come to the back of your mat. When the bell rings, we're gonna get low. Let's go. Got low, waddle like a duck to the top of your mat, staying nice and low, jump, and waddle back. We are halfway there. Your 
legs are capable of so much more than you think they are. They are strong muscles. So even though they burn, I want you to keep going. If you're able to, push beyond what your mind thinks you can do. And let's finish strong. Good. Next are four mountain climbers and two shoulder taps. These are hard, but it's only 45 seconds, so we can do this. Let's get down. 45 seconds. One, two, three, four. Tap and tap. If you need some more stability for the shoulder taps, bring your feet to the corners of a mat in a wider stance. You want to challenge yourself, keep your feet narrow. 20 more seconds. Keep your core strong. Five seconds. You can do this. And done. Whew. Moving right along through to those shoot throughs. If you don't want to get tangled in your mat, Fold it up, three seconds, we're gonna start. Start in that narrow kind of bear stance. Shoot opposite arm, opposite leg. Tap the ground, right back to center. Twist the other way. Good job. These are all about balance and using all the tiny muscles in your core and arms to make you stay upright. So these should feel hard. 10 more seconds. Let's see if we can get one more on each side. And done. Whew. Good job, guys. Put your mat back to where it was if you folded it. And next we have those lunges with a kick. Let's go. Stand in the center of your mat, lunge back and kick. You can alternate each leg or you can do half on one side and I'll tell you when to switch, which makes it just a little bit harder. Switch, plant your other leg, lunge back, and kick. The sharper you make each part of a move, the more energy it's going to take you. So keep everything sharp and powerful. Good job. We're done with those. Next we have bicycle crunches. Down onto our mat. You're gonna press your lower back onto the ground, no space beneath your back, and let's go. Thirty seconds. Give it the intensity of a cyclist cycling up a very steep hill. If you stop pedaling, your bike will slide down. So let's keep going. Even if you have to go super, super slow, it totally counts. Just keep moving and 45 seconds are over. Let's rest here for 10 more seconds before we go into those tricep to tabletop to knee taps. Deep breath, getting started. Down onto your forearms. Use your triceps to lift your upper body. Squeeze your glutes at the top of the table. Tap, tap, engaging your core. And back to starting position. Triceps, glutes, core, core. This is truly a full body move. 
that celebrates all that your body is capable of doing. Whatever that may look like for you, take this time to enjoy how amazingly weird this exercise is and that your body is very capable of all type of movement. And done. Um, we're back to pretend ball slams. In five, let's get into position. Pick what you're gonna slam and let's go. Reach up using those calves and down. If you add enough power into this move, you're also using your core to keep your head up and not colliding with your mat. So here's yet another very full body move. Doesn't look that hard, but it is. 10 more seconds. We all got this. Stay with me for five more seconds. One, and done. Great job. Take these 10 seconds to catch your breath before we go into airplanes. Okay, in five seconds, choose which leg you want to start. Plant it on the ground. Let's go. When you're at the bottom of this move, you should feel your hamstring on your standing leg, back of your leg very engaged, your shoulders squeezing together at the top. Balance is not your forte, that's okay. The move is just as effective this way. Switch legs, let's go. Enjoy pretending to be an airplane. Try to find a sense of freedom in gliding at the bottom. Last one. And we're done. Two more moves in this cycle. Done for our clams with the raise. Here we go. In five seconds. Let's get those glutes fired up. And let's go. job. Give your glutes a break from being lazy and sitting all day. Switch sides quickly. This is not a time to break in between. Right back into it. Whew. We got this. Let's finish strong and done. Our last move of the day are those knee to wrists, double knee to wrists. It's a hard one, but let's stay focused and end this round strong. Round two, let's finish it, let's go. Into a high plank, knee to opposite wrist, extend behind you, knee to your other wrist. Put the foot down, switch your leg, same thing, good job. Try and keep your core as stable as possible, even though your legs are moving. Use your breath. We have 15 more seconds. This is a hard finisher, but you'll really use the rest well after. So let's push through now. Finish strong and we're done. Wipe your sweat if you need to. Grab some water. You have one minute of well-deserved rest here. We have 30 more seconds. Remember to focus on taking those deep breaths. And bring our heart rates down. 
grab a towel if you need one. I probably should have one. And we're gonna get started soon in our very last round. If there was any move in particular that you really didn't like, this is the last time you'll have to do it. We're gonna get started in 15 seconds with those inchworm push-up combo. No matter how tough it gets, I ask you to keep moving, even if you need to modify or take a break. Let's finish it together, just like we started. Even if you were doing push-ups on your knees before, try and see if you can sneak one in on your toes and then go right back to whatever modification you need to keep pushing through the 45 seconds. 15 seconds left. Great job guys, five seconds. And we're done. Final checklist. Last time you'll do these next 10 moves, duck walks with a jump squat. Come to the bottom of your mat, and in three seconds we're gonna get started. 45 seconds are on the clock, let's get low. Waddle, waddle to the front. Jump, and back. Push through your burning quads, that's okay. Let's use our mat as a final runway. Finish strong, last one, and we're done. Next are those four mountain climbers with two shoulder taps. Whew. One of the last upper body focused moves. I know we can do this together. Let's get down onto our mat, into that high plank. One, two, three, four. Tap and tap. you can. There might be some movement at this point when we're tired. But try to keep it to a minimum. 15 more seconds. Use that breath. You can move slowly, but keep moving. And we're done. Amazing job guys, we're so close to being done. Next are those shoot throughs. Modify your mat position, if your mat tends to get tangled. And here we go. Start in this position, twist, shoot through, tap the ground, repeat. Pause on each end, like you're getting your picture taken. Make those muscles stabilize. And work. 10 more seconds. Give me one more on each side. And done. Fix your mat if you moved it. Amazing job. Next are those lunges with kicks. We can do this. Good job, we're gonna switch sides. 
and lunge. If I can somehow find the energy to do five rounds of this workout, you can finish this one strong. Good job. Next we have bicycle crunches. Down onto your mat, press that lower back flat against the ground to protect our spine, and let's go. You got this. For some extra motivation, try moving your legs to the rhythm of whatever song you're listening to right now. Next are those pretend ball slams. Last time we have to do these. So get into position, reach up, and slam. job. Stay focused on the move. You can slow it down if you need to, but keep up that intensity. Ten more seconds. And three, one, and done. Good job, guys. Next are our airplanes. Get into that childlike mind. Get ready to have fun with these. Pick which leg you want to start on. And let's fly. Pick one spot at the top of your mat to focus your eyes on to help with balance. Remember, you can always have both feet on the ground, making sure to still push your hips back when you lean forward. Switch legs. Five more seconds, couple more seconds of flying, and we're done. Last two moves of the day, we have our clans. Coming up, let's get into position. We're starting in three, one, let's go. Last one on this side. Let's rotate. Forearm on the ground and up. Amazing. We only have three more seconds and done. Our last move of the day. Let's all finish together nice and strong. Those knees to in and out of your wrist. Let's so get into the high plank position. And let's go. Knee to opposite wrist, knee to outside of the same side wrist. This one uses your full body so I can understand if, like me, you're a little shaky, but push through. We have 15 seconds of this entire workout left. Let's finish nice and strong. Five more seconds. And we're done. 
Amazing, guys. Whew. You all deserve a round of applause for getting through that massive circuit three times. We are now going to go into our cool down stretches. Since we're already down on our mat, let's come down into a pigeon. Tuck your knee under the front of your body and come down. I suggest putting on a nice slow tempo song right now to help get into that mind frame of slowing down, getting our breath back, and wrapping up this workout on a nice calm note. If you can, extend your arms in front of you, bring your chest down onto the mat, and just rest your forehead, sinking deep into that stretch. Give me one more breath here. And we're gonna come back up and switch sides. Tuck that un other leg under you. If your hip and glute are feeling a little tight, feel free to stay up here with your upper body nice and straight. If not, if you want a deeper stretch, you can come down onto your forearms. And deepening it a step more if you can, extending your arms in front of you and resting your forehead on the mat. Give me one more deep breath here. And we come back up, right into a runner's lunge. Bring one foot in front of you. Bring your hands to the ground, to the inside of your knee. And really relax and sink into that stretch. You'll feel it in your hip flexor behind you, as well as a little bit on the hamstring on the leg in front of you. If you can, you can come down onto your forearms and do that same process we did with the pigeon stretch. I personally have tight hip flexors, so I'm not that flexible but that is an option for all of those who would like to take it. Now I'm gonna lean back and lean over our leg, giving our hamstring that has worked hard today a nice stretch. Now we're gonna switch sides and repeat that on the other side into our runner's lunge. Leaning back, stretching that hamstring. And if you can, you can fold your upper body over your thigh to deepen that stretch. In our final minute together, we're going to stretch our upper body, bringing one arm across, swinging them out to switch arms. Reaching both arms up, adding a jazz wiggle if you'd like, bringing one palm to the center of your back, stretching that tricep, switch arms, and finally let's stretch our core that has worked hard for us today in all of these moves down into a little lift. And 
that is the end of our workout. I had so much fun doing this with you guys, and I miss seeing all of your faces in class. So I hope this brought back some memories of working out in Yates, and hopefully I will see you all soon. Have a great day, guys.